welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be discussing the last will and testament. We're going to go ahead and get right into it. So at the very top, the person that has shown you their identification, their name is going to go here and they are called the testor. So you're going to print their name here and you're going to come here and this is their information here. So their name will be printed here, the city where they reside, the county where they reside, and the state. You're going to come down to the next paragraph, and this is their personal representative. So they'll have two that will be named. So just in case the first one isn't available, then you will move to the second one to take care of everything. So you would put that person's name there who's going to be their personal representative, the city, the county, and the state of the first personal representative. And then they will have a second person. So that's just in case you will put that person's name, their city, county, and state. You will come down to the next section. And if you have more than one beneficiary, then there are several spots. For you to list different people. But if you just have that one. You're going to go ahead and put the person's name. Who you're going to be leaving property or any finances to. So you'll put your print their name here. You're going to put that person's current address where they reside. The relationship to that person. And you'll put their last for their social right here. And wherever, if it's a property that you're going to be leaving them, you're going to put the address to the property. And once again, if you have a second and third beneficiary, you will complete those the same exact way for each individual. You will come down. And any spaces that you have within, you'll fill them in. So state of. This is done in Florida, so this will be Florida. Down here, you're going to go ahead and put the person's name who has shown you the identification, the test door. You'll put their name. And then, of course, the date that this um, document is being done. And remember, I called them the test door. They're going to sign their name here and print their name here. Once again, we'll have the, the date, and then we'll have their name printed. And remember, if it says by, it's the person that's shown you the identification. And if it's me, then it will be your name, which is the notary. You're going to come down here, and now we're at a place for the witnesses. Now, for a last will and testament and power of attorneys, you need two witnesses in the state of Florida. And neither witness can be the notary. So unlike a quick claim deed or any kind of real estate documents, the notary cannot be a witness. So you will need two different witnesses that are no relation to the person, the testor. So right here, you're going to get the witness to sign here and complete their address here. And then witness number two will do the same signature and address will come down and the notary will fill this information out. So we have Florida County of Hillsboro. Now here you would write the person, the testor, you'll print their name here and you're going to print the first witness's name here and you're going to print the second witness's name here. Down here, the testor once again will sign and then the witnesses will sign. So witness number one and witness number two. And as the notary, you'll come down here and you will notarize this document. And you will sign here and you'll put your commission expiration date there. And that will complete this document. It's not hard at all. There is not one set will or power of attorney. There are several different versions of this. So yours might differ or it might be very similar. 
So what I will say is um, a lot of wheels on the sides, it'll have like a line on each side. And that will be for the test door to initial. So they want to initial. And even on here, if that person wishes to initial, there's a space right here. So they can initial all of these saying that, that they agree to each paragraph. It's not necessary, but if they'd like to, they can. And I guess this concludes this document. And just look out for more documents because there are going to be many, many more to come. I might do several different uh, wills and several different power of attorneys just to show you the different versions of them.